like to talk about the Shanghai Composite today. The market has been rallying sharply off of uh, the late October low. And we've been asking ourselves the question in recent updates as to whether this advance is corrective or impulsive. Are we expecting a three-wave move uh, off of the low or a new five-wave advance to develop? We've been leaning towards the three-wave corrective uh, interpretation. And it's last night's price action that gave us some very important information and support for that analysis. Now, the five-wave decline into the summer low was very clean. Wave two is a truncation, and we don't prefer to count truncations, but they do imply very sharp moves to follow, and the third wave down certainly was sharp. From a Fibonacci perspective, it's very interesting that the top of the wave four separates the entire decline into a 0.618 and 0.382 relationship. So we've been keeping an eye on the Fibonacci relationships in Shanghai. Now, what happened last night, as we can see, is this rally came right up close to the 6.618 retracement of that decline and then reversed sharply, suggesting we've just completed a three-wave corrective rally. It's the intraday chart which gives us some important additional support for this analysis. Here we can see that wave C of the rally is just about exactly 0.618 of the length of wave A. And in fact, these two 618 relationships both came in about 25 points within each other and prices went right in between them, both of them, just slightly overshooting on the intraday chart and a little bit short on the daily chart. So seeing prices react at these important Fibonacci uh, cluster tells us that more likely than not, we believe this corrective advance is complete. Now, uh, the 3200 number remains important, and I think prices need to stay under that uh, for this analysis to remain our preferred wave cap.